interactive exhibition of work by the American photographer Greg Gorman has just opened at the Lumiere Brothers Centre. Gorman is known for his portraits of top celebrities from the world of cinema and music. He's photographed the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Al Pacino and Michael Jackson. His black and white photographs employ high contrast lighting, a technique that's become his trademark. The exhibition, if you're interested, lasts until June. Lumiere Brothers is part of the Red October Complex. And earlier, our correspondent Lindsay Free caught up with the artist himself. Today we're joined by American photographer Greg Gorman, whose exhibition, A Distinct Vision, will be showing at the Lumiere Brothers Center for Photography from the 19th of April to the 17th of June. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Your exhibition will focus on four decades of your career, so can you kind of walk me through how your style has changed over time? When I began taking pictures, I tended to light with the light right over the camera so all the pictures looked like interchangeable postage stamps everything was kind of broadly lit and I realized as I developed my style that as soon as I started taking the light off the center of camera and creating a more dynamic range between my highlights and my shadows that I found my own style and I thought my pictures became more uh, interesting. What serves as your inspiration when you're creating a piece? Uh, the people I'm photographing obviously it's uh, trying to get into their head figure out who they are how I want to portray them and uh, what it is I want to say about them and that kind of is the challenge for how I'll basically light a picture and, and focus on what I want to capture from their personality. What do you think is the most challenging type of object or person to photograph? A person that's not willing to take advice, be open and honest and is trying to hide something. Uh, oftentimes celebrities are not comfortable playing a character other than themselves and, and when they hide behind a character it's much more easy for them. Sometimes the most challenging uh, part of my job is playing psychiatrist. Uh, getting the person to come up to down to my level so that ultimately we can communicate that we establish a level of trust and confidence so I can actually capture who that person may be. You said that a photo is most successful when it doesn't answer all the questions. Can you explain a little more what you mean by that? I think when everything is exposed in a photograph and kind of answers all the questions, a person walks away feeling they know what they want to know. And, and it, they, I don't think they always remember so much about the photograph. I think if a picture lures you into a point that you want to know more about that person and all the questions aren't answered, it leaves you walking away remembering that picture much more succinctly. I think it's not always what you say in the highlights, but it's what you keep from people in the shadows that sometimes makes a picture more interesting. What is art to you, if you had to explain it in a sentence? Good question. <laughs> I think art is something that's really in the eyes of the beholder. It's something that strikes an emotional note in one's body that attracts a person to, whether it's a piece of sculpture, a photograph, a painting, but strikes something, in, an internal chord with them that, that attracts them to them. I think that's a piece of art. Also interpretation, how things are interpreted can be a piece of art. In these days of digital photography, everyone has a chance to be creative with their cameras, but what makes a really good professional photographer? I think their eye. I think, uh, unfortunately, today there's, everyone thinks they can be a photographer because everything is autofocus, auto-exposure. And with digital, you can cover up a lot of mistakes. But I think in the inherent vision for a person, it's their eyes and how they see someone, how they interpret their pictures. Is photography a skill that can be learned, or is it something you just have to be born with? Photography techniques can be learned, but the art of taking a great picture is really inherent in a person. You're either born with it or you're not. It's not something that you can develop or really learn. I think you can learn how to take a picture, but you can't learn to take a picture. When did you begin taking photos? Is it something you always wanted to do when you were a child? I began taking pictures by chance, actually. I borrowed a friend's camera in 1968 to photograph a Jimi Hendrix concert, knowing nothing about photography. Went and shot a couple rolls of film, processed them the next morning in my friend's amateur darkroom and when I saw the image coming up in the tray I was hooked and enrolled in photojournalism school and that was the beginning of a long career. And how would you like your work to be remembered? What would you like your legacy to be? Well hopefully it will be remembered for my lighting. I think what I'm known for is kind of my style of lighting, my strong highlights and hard shadows and uh, hopefully for the body of work I've created with my male and female nudes and my personality portraits. Mr. Gorman, thank you very much for joining us.